A spokesperson for Erie County Executive Mark Polencars is denying the sworn account of a process server who claims the county executive threatened her when she went to his home to serve him papers as part of a lawsuit. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And hello again, I'm Scott Levin. So while Mark Polencars denies the claims, the woman making them is sticking to her story. She spoke with Two On Your Side's Dave McKinley earlier today. The lawsuit was filed by Mike Lomas and Glenn Wiggle, known more commonly as the financial guys who run an investment and advisement firm and host a radio show. It's regarding the $176,000 in overtime Health Commissioner Gail Burstein has been paid since the pandemic began on top of her more than $200,000 annual salary. The plaintiffs want a judge to declare the overtime to be illegal and order Burstein to pay it back. Also named in the suit is the county executive and the county's commissioner of personnel, Timothy Hoves. A commonly when civil suits are filed. Defendants can expect someone to show up and serve the papers to officially notify them that legal action has been taken against them. According to the affidavit of service filed with New York State Supreme Court, Jody Williams attests that when she went to serve Poland cars at his home, she first knocked on the front door several times with no answer, so she went around back. That's when she says, upon knocking on the rear door, I saw Mr. Poland cars inside his kitchen area, and he yelled, you're lucky you didn't get shot to me through the window. I asked asked, why would I get shot? I have a summons for you, and lifted up the large packet of papers I had in my hand so he could see them. He then told me that the sheriffs just left and are on their way back. So I asked him if he wanted me to wait for them. He then told me I was trespassing and said, get the expletive off my property before I shoot you. At that time, I left the papers at his back door and departed the area. In response to our request for comment, press secretary to the county executive, Peter Anderson, wrote, the county executive did not threaten to shoot anyone. Thank you. Reached by phone, Williams insisted that her sworn and notarized account of what happened and now filed with the court is accurate and true. She added that she was somewhat shocked because while it's not uncommon for someone she's serving papers on to yell at her, she's never experienced anything quite like this. And she noted that as an attorney and an officer of the court, polling cars should have known better. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.